Hi, it's Nancy with this girl in the garden. I just got through adding this little Esperanza plant to my garden. I stopped at Janie's today. Actually, I went to the Dollar General store and I saw Janie. So before I could go to Dollar General, <laughs> she had 50% off. <laughs> so I went there and I purchased this. Uh, oh, here's another thing I purchased. I purchased this. I wouldn't get it at full price because I will end up killing it most likely. I don't want to say that for a fact because we are snared by the words of our mouth. So I'm going to try very hard not to kill this little plant. Someday this is a bougainvillea. It looks like crepe paper. It's just so beautiful. <laughs> and Janie's are always beautiful. And I hope I don't kill this little plant. <laughs> but. They struggle even outside for me, and I can do outside plants fairly well, but um, anyway, they never, they've, I've never had one make it through the winter inside and to come back out again, but you know, last year was the first time I had uh, Rex begonias to come back out again, and this beautiful little silver one I kept in the house. So I'm going to just have to keep trying. This is a new one. I didn't keep it in the house. And this is a new one too. And it already looks terrible because I, I got it early on in the season. And then I saved it in the house. So I, it's time to plant it outside. Uh, so it's not looking very good. But I still have much hope for it. And of course I've already talked about my little... Uh, now I can't think of the name of it. Oh goodness. Something prints. Anyway, I got that from Low D Polymer Prints. And that's a beauty too. And I hope I can keep it through the winter. This one I kept through the winter. It's back out and it's looking gorgeous. Uh, see if I can remember what else I got at Janie's at half price. Oh, I got these little plants too. I had tried to save this this little cordyline burgundy spike and it died on me so I got another one but I waited they were six dollars uh, so I got it for three so that's wonderful and hopefully I'll be able to keep it through the winter I did read that uh, they do not like well, any any min minerals or whatever they put in water, uh, they like to be like you to use bottled water. So I don't know if I'll go that far, but I may. <laughs> so and then I got this pretty little. Uh, I think it's a pineapple splash, coleus, to go with it. Or actually, I didn't get it to go with it. I just got it because I liked it. And then I thought, well, they go very well together. So I'll put those together. So that's pretty much how I do it. I get it if I want it and I like it. I get it and then I find a place for it. And actually, it's a lot easier than you would think. Or at least it was for me today. I still have a few things that uh, need to come in that are... Uh, I ordered that are perennials and then I got some of those in today and then those few things that I ordered on the half price sale and uh, I thought where am I going to put these but actually they just tucked in here and there really easily and the ones that didn't I did like I did this Esperanza put it in its own little pot and then just set it out with the rest of my plants I, I have not been able to find these little oh, plant stands and I love these things they just work for so many so many things to raise it up or to set it up on a, top of another one so you can double double deck it <laughs> but uh I can't find them this year. I hope they don't stop making those because I certainly use a lot of those in the garden. They just can really come in handy. I may not get around to all the little things that I I got, but um, I just wanted to, to talk with you a little bit anyway because the last time I did one was Monday and we had a beautiful day Monday. And today has been a 
fairly nice day. It has been windy off and on, uh, but it's also been cloudy, overcast skies, and which makes for a great day in the garden. It's great for taking pictures where you don't have a, a lot of uh, shadows or mostly just white out from the sun. But um, But I love to take pictures on an overcast day. It makes the colors just stand out much brighter, sharper, clearer. Um, I do have some little plants coming up in my seed box, which I, I know that's probably not going to be real interesting to you. <laughs> but they were to me because I, I thought, well, none of my seeds are coming up. And I, I went to tell a friend that, and I looked again, and there they are. Look at those little seedlings coming up. So I'm happy about that. Also planted some in this one and so far not not any. But I've not given up on it yet either. So um, just just wanna if you wanna finish up, now's the time to finish up. I seem to not be able to finish until it's just so hot and all the nurseries closed because there's just so much so much so many beautiful plants I just would love to see them all in reality and instead of just in catalogs I want to actually experience them and uh, so that's one of the things I wanted to let you know that I'm just still totally enjoying it even though it is tiring it's very tiring <laughs> Uh, and I think I'm not going to do that anymore and I'm done with that and then and then I see another plant or I see another cell a plant that I wanted all along but now I think I can get it at that price so uh, starting over again but it just it's it makes a beautiful garden too it makes a beautiful garden because uh, you add all that stuff together and I, actually I think they play off of each other so well and uh, sometimes when I first started gardening I couldn't get a lot of things to grow but for some reason I have noticed that when you get other plants uh, maybe it entices the butterflies they need or something to because it really does help the others to grow so I'm um, and plus I just enjoy all that all that beauty all that the more I can I can get the better I like it I think I said before I'm, I like my garden to be like that Crayola box that you open up and all the colors are in there plus a few new ones that's how I want my garden to be so and it's been so much fun I'm still still fighting those snails I read that now another thing I'm going to try is putting cat litter in the pots. They said they don't like that cat litter because it's um, hard for them to walk on or it hurts them some way so they just back off. So that would be great if that would happen. But anyway, just such a beautiful day again. Just a few minutes that I have to left of the day it's beginning to, to get a little bit dark but mostly that's because of the clouds it's only about seven here in Oklahoma and so we still have some time for daylight we it usually doesn't get dark until around nine o'clock now a little resin birdhouse here that I want to get put up on a on a PVC pipe and put somewhere probably in this area and then I got a couple of little uh, rose moss starts for my mother for some reason hers didn't come back this year so uh, I'm going to take that to her before too long I am kind of glad the planting season is coming to to an end though simply because I've got to get other things done, not necessarily because I, I'm ready to quit planting and seeing new plants and visiting the nurseries, but simply because there's so much I need to be doing in my house and just even just in the garden, I have not yet planted very many seeds. I planted a few and a lot of them did not come up for some reason. So. Um, 
so anyway I need to be I need to try to, again to plant some seeds and I need to get my house cleaned up and just several things we need to eat something besides TV dinners <laughs> my husband's been cooking TV dinners for us so I can do all this how sweet is that those TV dinners aren't all that bad when you're hungry and you don't have to cook it it's pretty good so I guess I'll go in the back now for just a little bit I just had to take one more little shot here in front but uh, I kind of like the still shots in that you can just kind of zone in on them and you don't get all the other stuff that you don't necessarily want to get in the picture but then is it that pretty and then this is the little angel that my mother planted and look at that coleus right there isn't that a pretty color it's kind of a brown with a bright green and so pretty everything's looking good except for yeah where the snails where the snails have been things are kind of wilty over they even got into this one I put a little begonia right there, right there, but they're right beside it. They took out some that looked like this, this beautiful red. It was flowing out of the other side too, and some of the snails got a halt of it. So I'm hoping this kitty litter stuff will work. I wanted to show you the yellow yarrow is blooming, isn't it pretty? And then this is sea holly right here behind it and they go so well together and my husband just said look at that plant right there he was talking about this sea holly he said it just seems to almost glow doesn't it this is another little plant I got at Janie's at half price today and I've already got one in the garden and some little snippets because uh, it will start from root uh, sometimes it's always worth a try but this is I'm just uh, I'm just more than a little besotted with this plant because it's just so pretty and it just billows out and all that white just keeps going that little white dainty flower dancing in the wind and it's just such a pretty little plant and if you put other it's pretty all by itself I love it just like that but if you put other plants in there with it it just really plays well together so this is my backyard uh, guardian angel right at the when you step outside the back gate she's right there to greet you and then uh, this little item right back here my husband and his brother just finished that for me and it's uh, got a planter box right inside it right there and actually our planter box is not quite the right size so we're going to probably redo that a little bit but I may go ahead and do it just like this for the summer too because it is beginning to get hot and uh, projects like that sometime you should wait till fall especially if you're an old person but then if you have a good day and have some good energy and you want to do it <laughs> I would say go for it but I do need to get this fixed up a little bit different but I just love it isn't it pretty he put a back on it and I think maybe I'm going to have him to take the back off so that the flowers right there on the bottom can just grow up around the planter box so you can see it from the front of it also. And this pretty little Indian angel has caladiums coming up in her pot. Pretty little orange rose moss blooming in this little pot. And over here there's more rose moss blooming. It was opened up quite a bit, but it's getting a little later and a little more overcast. So it's kind of closing up a bit, but I'm not complaining, especially if we get some wonderful much needed rain here in our part of Oklahoma. We definitely need it. Look at these beautiful pink 
double petunias. Aren't they just gorgeous? We're going to be coming up on another little plant that I purchased from uh, Janie's today. And that's this pretty little sun impatient. And uh, it, to me, it still needs a little bit of shade. So I put it out here under the rain tree and hopefully it'll get enough shade and enough sun to do well there. Love that color. I also uh, went to Atwoods and they're having their 50% off too and selling out. Things are selling out because it's just getting too hot to do a bunch of planting and too hot for the little plants to be in those tiny little pots in the nursery. I'm not thinking right now what I did actually purchase from uh, Atwoods, but I got several that were very nice little plants uh, that I'm sure I'll enjoy. I think these are some right here, and they're they're not looking so great right at the moment. But uh, this is a liquish plant. I always enjoy this color, this soft powdery color. It just brings out any other color. There's a liquish plant there, and then. Uh, this one back here is also a licorice plant and it's called, let me see if you can get it to focus in a little better, but it's called icicles and it's also a pretty plant. That color just works so well. If you want to put it in a pot with other colors, it definitely will work for you. It just will. i take that one off and let it put on a new pretty one for me. Also, I did not get to take you around to all the nurseries that I wanted to because Atwoods was one of the ones I wanted to take you to. Uh, it's our Atwoods and Clinton. It's not a very big one, but it's it's a, to me it's very nice it has both annuals and perennials and sometimes I just want some perennials in my garden I, I love the ones that come back as well as the ones that bloom um, all season oh this is one of the little things I got at Atwoods in this little pot right here is this pretty little calabrachoa can you just just see how much it added to this little pot it already looked good but those little frilly or dangly uh, purple blooms just filled this out and just added into it so much I think I put some more. I know I put some more in this little one right here. And this is a this is called a fiber optic plant. And I got that at at Woods. And then this little plant right here. I can't remember. I might have I think I did get that at Atwoods too. Or I may have got it at Janie's and Clinton. I went there too. <laughs> but uh it is a pretty I think it's going to be almost the same color as this celosia when it blooms and it's a verbena oh my goodness this is what happens when you when a bloom bug gets after your blooms oh that's horrible I did go ahead and put some little starts right down here. They're tiny right now, but if they will do well and grow up a little bit, they won't be as tall as the other things in it. I think they'll maybe kind of trail a little bit or hang over the edge is what I'm hoping. And I think that's going to be really pretty there. And also, this is a new one. I got this at, um, at Atwoods also, and it's... Spanish, uh, is it Spanish, yeah, Spanish moss, and I just put that in that little first container there, and I, 
it looks so cute I hope it'll do well there I'm not sure if it will but we'll see it looks good there right now lilies are blooming and June is all about the day lilies There's a couple of more plants that I got uh, at Atwoods and this is a beautiful uh, coleus actually I thought of the name I was thinking did I get that at Atwoods but I did and then this little one right here is a coreopsis right here and then I went ahead and filled this pot oh here's another daylily that I told you June was all about the daylilies and this is a bloom bug right down in there trying to hide I would love to actually I would have liked to have killed that thing <laughs> because he'll be back up there and have that bloom looking like that other one that I'll show you the one over here that I these are some more plants that I got recently at Janie's and Atwood's <laughs> but I, I found another white angelonia the beautiful I don't know what color you'd call that, but that's lantana. And this is another fan flower. Has the little fan light -like blooms. Um, and then I got another, I got another of the Persian shield. Because I've been telling you that mine looks brown and and green instead of purple and green. So this is a new one that someone else has been taking care of, and this is how a Persian shield normally looks. We'll see if mine can keep that color or if I'll come back out soon and show you a brown and green one again. <laughs> and I got another Calabrachoa. If my Calabrachoas live, I just love them. I don't have the kind of luck I would like to have with them though, but um, maybe I eventually will. I just have to keep trying. blanket flower isn't that color gorgeous I think it might be just because it's overcast and and the colors do seem to deepen when the weather's a little bit cooler they just just the color just intensifies some more day lilies for you there and the daisies are looking good Oh look, I actually have some Dianthus blooming up here in this pot. I guess they really love the cooler weather too. <laughs> and there's more day lilies over here. I have to show these to y'all. So, and more Gallardia or blanket flower. I got still pictures of these this morning that looked really good too. This verbena is still looking good here in this little pot. And look at this, my uh, pink monarda or bee balm is blooming. I love this little plant. It looks like a carnation with a spiked hairdo. This one little red hot poker is just wanting to lay down. I'm not sure what its problem is. And here's another little day lily. Isn't that a bright pretty color? to this pretty mulberry uh, mini petunia or calabrachoa. Some more daylilies. 
they'll be blooming now till at least the end of June off and on it, of course they only last a day but another one like these these buds here will be blooming the next day or a day soon after <laughs> It still looks like it could rain, and I certainly hope it does. For one thing, I planted these new little ones, and they're um, primrose, poker primrose. And I hope they are, I'm not exactly sure what word they call. Anyway, they're a primrose with a taller, a little bit taller bloom on it but I didn't water them in so I'm hoping it will rain if not I'll need to get out here tomorrow and then this is the uh, Corydalis the yellow Corydalis which I've never actually had one of them uh, and I thought I would like to for quite some time so I did go ahead and order that it was one of my perennials I hope I can keep it well I guess I'm gonna have to go ahead and try to close this off Lots of, lots of things to look at and certainly enjoy, enjoy the garden, enjoy every new little thing and just every new stage of every little thing. Look at this zini coming up right here. It's fairly tall right now. And I need, of course that's one that's coming up volunteer as all this that around it and that's um, Celosia and it's very pretty oh that was a wasp so i had to give a little shoe it away there but um our yellow jackets actually what it was not just a wasp but here's some more of the pretty shooting stars this is some more of the celosia i've got to get out here and thin that out and get rid of some of it Sometimes it's pretty all growing up together like that and that kind of prevents it from being so tall too. Otherwise it can get pretty ginormous. <laughs> I'll take you over to one of the little volunteers of a, uh, one of the burgundy solotions. Here's, here's one of them that came up in this tiny little pot right there. But they are pretty and I've already pointed out to you what burgundy does in the garden is it changes from burgundy to bright red when the Sun hits it just right but one day I was wondering well I don't have anything red in that pot and what is that and, and of course it was just my little burgundy celosia but um, I wanted to show this one to you since I thought of it but look at that about well it's more than two foot tall I don't know if it's quite three foot yet but they can get huge and then they put a big tall plume on in the late summer early fall on top of that so it's just so interesting to watch them watch them change and watch them grow watch them blend with other plants and see how they they play off of each other and how beautiful things can become this this right here is a uh, hardy hibiscus and it's a bright red it's called Lord Baltimore it won't be too awfully long it'll be a while yet but it won't be too awfully long before it's blooming you can see it has some little little buds right there and I have several of the hibiscus too of course I'll be showing those off to you also but uh okay for real i'm i'm gonna close it off now <laughs>